Training alone can be quite hard. That's not a secret anymore because I've talked about it multiple times on this channel and it really can be a struggle. How to structure your own sessions, how long should I do each exercise, what exercises should I do and what can I do because I'm all on my own. Well, today I got you with a brand new individual training session that is about 15 minutes and it includes all the aspects of soccer. First touch, passing, dribbling, footwork, ball control, you name it, it all has it. You can follow along with me because it is a follow along video. And we will do each exercise for one minute and we have about a 15 second rest. So without further ado, let's get started. For the first drill, we're going to do a juggle lateral, which is very simple. We're going to walk through the cones while we're juggling and around the cones. This is great for ball control and also a very fun warm up. The second drill is also going to be a lateral movement, this time without the ball. We're running through the cones and then jump for stabilization on one leg and then repeat that to the other side. This is great for activation for the legs, stability and also a nice warm up. a freestyle dribbling pattern. Basically this is you put down a bunch of cones and dribble through it and just freestyle. This is game realistic because in the game you also don't know what is going to happen. going to target our passing and first touch. We are going to pass the ball against the wall, then go to the inside with the inside of our foot and then put it around with the outside of our foot. Half time, at 30 seconds you want to switch feet.
35th row you want to drag the ball with the outside of your foot around the first cone. Then again throw the two middle cones, then drag it with the inside of your foot around the furthest cone, then again the outside of your foot and the outside of your foot and repeat that till we hit the one minute. What's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through For this drill, you pass the ball against the wall and dribble to the furthest cone. When you come back, again pass the ball against the wall and drag it with the inside of your foot. Then repeat that and then again pass the ball against the wall and open up to the furthest cone. Repeat this for one minute. For this drill, we pass the ball against the wall and perform an iesta. After the iesta, you dribble around the furthest cone. You do this by all three cones. When you're at the end, you want to make a turn so you can repeat all of this to the other side. For this drill, you pass against the wall and drag it with the outside of your foot through the cones. You're going to dribble through each cone once, except for the upper right, where you go first right, then left, and the upper left, where you go first left, then right.
For this footwork drill, you squeeze the ball around the cone, then perform an iesta and drag the ball with the sole and outside of your foot around the two cones. Then repeat that with your other foot and repeat this whole pattern for one minute. For this one, you roll the ball to the inside of the cone, then roll to the outside of the cone, roll around the cone, and drag it with the outside and sole of your foot around the two cones. Then switch feet and repeat this pattern for one minute. For the second to last exercise we have a ball control one, where we alternate between the insides of our feet and the laces of our feet. We have a pattern inside right, inside left, laces right, laces left. strong with just regular juggling. Make it a freestyle if you want it, go all out, it's just to finish the whole session the right way.
right guys that was it that was a new individual training session that has a new diversity and variety of exercises that you can do when you're alone so that training alone is enjoyable and a little bit more easy i hope you enjoyed the session and hopefully see you next time ciao